Okay, so this is a nice big patch of desmodium. This stuff is wonderful because it creates nitrogen, <clears throat> but it's highly invasive and creates this stuff that it sticks to your clothes. So you just put it on, it'll, it'll it's sticky, and it makes these. Um, see how it just sticks to your clothes, <laughs> and it makes. Um, these burrs that stick to your clothes too. So it has really, really, really deep roots. Like this whole thing here, this whole mess of it, is probably has one root. So you have to find the one stem that it goes to and pull that whole stem out with a big pick. This is another really bad invasive on this property. It's called strawberry guava, and it's actually taking over the whole island. You can see here this one strawberry guava, but this one's been actually cut down. It has this gorgeous wood, sort of a red red color, but it's it's like it's taking over everything and it's rapidly spreading because of these little seeds in the birds. So, we'll get rid of that wherever we can. The other uh, invasive here is mock olive, and this has been... Um, Already cut, this is a teeny tiny baby, but there's huge mock olive trees. Let's see if I can find one right now. We've been cutting them in this area. This is more of that strawberry guava, and that's a big strawberry guava tree. I mean, that thing is what, I don't know, 25 feet tall right now. It's got other vines growing in it, it just creates a mess. This is an example of a Christmas berry tree <laughs> that was cut. Oh, I don't know. The Christmas berry tree is way over there. It's entangled and curling around some mojillas. It's just a mess. That stuff is horrible. It's, it's, it has a very distinct smell, and it's a Brazilian mulberry. This is the other name. <laughs> 